Jatavius Caldwell Pope. And that was a lot of what happened in the first half. Wizards threes. Free throw. So he drops in the second and Washington. It had been eight at halftime though. And Washington hitting a couple shots early. Look at this ball pressure from Draymond. Zadaransky throwing it back to Porzingis. Draymond's there and that'll be the field goal and the foul. Ooh. Goal that Draymond came over and he's able to finish through contact somehow. Teams in the league, they're going to come out attacking and instead the Wizards, they're the ones that have set the tone here in the third. Draymond setting that screen for Clay Thompson, dropping it in again. Chris Tasprazingis is laying with Zadaransky. Jordan Poole. Multiple screens, but credit Zadaransky. His defense on Jordan. Otto Porter Jr. open three. All right. Four made threes the entire first half. Already in early minutes of the third. There's the movement. It started with Andrew Wiggins' drive. He got the defense to react. Zadaransky mid-range. They needed that bucket. Thanks. They actually beat Andrew Wiggins' team in Canada. Clay Thompson off the feed from Draymond. Draymond always sees that when they top block Clay Thompson fade away. And Otto Porter Jr. 100 miles an hour to lay it up and in. Just run the floor. Draymond's in the middle of everything. Very, very well built. Well engineered and great concert venue, great basketball venue. It's going to see its first playoff games coming up in about a month plus. Porzingis with Draymond up in the intensity. Kispert had 16 in the first half. And open, Tavius Caldwell Pope will run it back, flip it in, draw the excuse me foul, and the three point play opportunity. Is a good enough veteran. You either hammer him on the arm, points off turnovers have grown to 13 5, and make it 16 5 as KCP hits the three. Seven, and the turnovers fuel the Wizards' run. Andrew Wiggins, nice take to the bucket. Andrew Wiggins. Isn't the WebEx suite driving hybrid work? ACP and Jordan Poole come together. Raymond saved the turnover. Clay Thompson to a cutting auto corner. Just moving without the ball. He didn't stand. Poole in a foot race. Running against the 7-3 man and he beats him to the rim. That's Draymond's intensity that caused that turnover. Like this, everybody gets hot chocolate, right? Yeah. So she buries it while she was a collegiate player. Of course. So she's got some deep range. Shot that one easy. Rutgers and St. They had had it down to seven. They've been down as much as 18. The defense is clearly picked up, but they're still scuffling shoot the ball at 41%. Porzingis, he noticed it wasn't Draymond, and puts it up and in. Andrew Wiggins switched on to him. He just took his time. Did make some couple wars. No one did. Bottoms. Warriors cannot buy a three here, but Looney gives Clay an extra opportunity and he buries it. That's tough. The reset drifting to his left. Dirty to have that kind of patience of body control to stop putting him out at the three point line and just saying, hey, wait until guards to obviously the rise of the three ball, small ball, and other teams. Well, you credit the game Washington's playing right now because 53% shooting. A lot more. They're kind of getting back to that. I like Ish, buddy. Where he is, his, his teammates love playing with him because of his mentality. He's trying to get other guys involved and hit guys where they like the ball. Up the regular season, Memphis is tough. Desmond Bain, they're doing it without John Moran. Abdiya denied and then stayed with the play to lay it up and in. There hasn't been much drop off with this squad. This team, they have one of the best benches in the league when it comes to bench points. Jordan Poole, Gafford playing him physically, looting the rebound. GP2, nice pass to Looney to flip it in. GP2 just knows how to move without the ball. He's around the basket a lot. Got him to commit to him once he got it. Made the right pass. Tavius Caldwell Pope with Wiggins on him. His Smith jumper, and the rebound D Lee. Warriors just switched everything, so rendered all their screens ineffective. Baited them into that jump shot. Can they get it under seven? And it's a turnover on the Damian Lee screen. 
I'm trying to get that little exchange going for Jordan Poole. You don't want to start the moving screens again. Coach Kerr is looking at it, but see Damian Lee. He's trying to get a piece, so that's a tough one. He doesn't like it. Well, he felt he was set. There was definitely contact, but if you're set, the guy falls off you. It looks like he was stationed. Critical two minutes winding down this quarter. And Gaffer off the Avdia find. That's how he gets most of his points. Just roll. Let the ball handler create for you. Looney holding at the elbow. Dropped it off for Jordan Poole. Ribbing that out. Again, there's space off of there. Gafford is way back off of that screener. He doesn't want that. GP2. You can't play Smith any better than that, but you got to grab the rebound, and Jordan Poole does. So the eight-point game at halftime. The Warriors have been down 18. They've never led in this game. Play with a little runner. <laughs> Just took his time. Some Steve Nash action. Back to seven again. They can't get it under seven unless they get the stop and score. Kick it back out is Smith. Missing that three. 